set up real quick on uh, on YouTube real fast. And while I'm getting everything set up here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a few shout outs. Um, first shout out is to Evan Wilson. Um, he was asking if I'll be doing a, a Halo Helmet file, some Halo Helmet tutorial out of EVA Foam. And yes, I will be doing that tutorial, Evan, in EVA Foam. Um, I'll also be showing how to install the visor and how to properly cut it down. And if you do um, any kind of vinyl, how to overlay vinyl on it as well to get that hex pattern. Um, and the files that I'm using are, I'm using the, the calves. Um, so the, there's two links below. One goes to Pretzel's Locker and one goes directly to the 405th. Um, armory. So on there, I am using from the 405th. I'm using the um, the calves from there. I am using the biceps from there, and the shoulders from there. And then from Pretzel's Locker, if you go inside there, click Halo 4 um, foam files, and then there's one you'll see. It says Halo 4 Mark 6. Click that one and open it up. I am doing the um, the thighs from there, the chest from there, the helmet. From there, the forearms from there, the boots, and there's one more. I am doing the not the cod piece. Let's see, thighs, boots. I think that might be all that I'm doing from there. And I forgot. Um, also on the 405th link, I'm doing the butt foam piece from there and the cod piece from there. So it's kind of spread out, but the ones from Pretzel's Locker inside the specific folder, they're modified better for foam. So I would check those out. Um, overdoing like the thigh from directly from 405th because there isn't quite the um, the uh, I guess exchange made from Papakura to EVA foam really well on the 405th one so check out the ones at Pretzel's Locker first but whatever is easier for you you'll know which file is which because um, you can kind of compare and contrast it to the pieces that I've got or if you see the thumbnail of the video you can pretty much figure out which one I used um, so I hope that helps also um, next shout out goes out to Real Gaming um, who I believe started his first Halo Armor build, so awesome for that dude. I am really excited to see what you uh, come up with. I would love it if you jumped on the Angel Legend Facebook page and threw up any kind of uh, video or um, photos there to me in a message. I'll totally throw those up on the page and blast that out. Um, and then the last shout out right now is to Gilbert Zuniga. And this is just a general shout out for being awesome. Um, and also, you mentioned um, finding EVA foam. Best place that I have found to find EVA foam is on eBay. Um, I got 96 square feet of this kind of EVA foam, which came out to be um, 24 individual tiles. Um, it was eight tiles in a pack. And that was, I believe, cost me about 65 bucks. So just go on eBay, type in EVA foam uh, mats, and you can find it instantly there is a ton on there and hey fallout 97x welcome to the video um all right shout outs are done let's dive into this monster as like i said today we are going to be working on the thighs we're going to be doing our halo 4 mark 6 suit of armor thighs um, and this one here is actually the right thigh the armor file, though, is the left thigh. So when you're sizing this out, when you're doing all your cuts for it, make sure that once you trace them all out, face up first, knowing that that's your left leg, flip them over and trace the reverse so that you get the right leg. Um, otherwise, you're gonna end up with two sets of pieces for the same leg, and that sucks when you realize you've made that mistake. Um, and this one here is the, I, this is the standard scale. I haven't scaled it up or down at all, and this one fits my leg. Um, I'm six foot two and I weigh just south of 200 pounds. I'm like 198 and that fits me real well, but I did have to cut a section out of the middle. Right here where the leg comes together, there's a piece that fits inside here that looks really similar to this and it folds over itself and fits in there. I had to cut a pretty sizable section out of here to make it fit um, because the length is there that I want it to be. Like it's totally perfectly tall. Um, from here to there, so it reaches um, down to my knee and up to my hip, but the, uh, the circumference and the width of this whole thing was way too much, so I ended up cutting out about four inches. I cut like a four inch chunk out, and I pulled it in, I cut it down the middle first to see where I was going to, was going to line up, and I overlapped one piece till it was nice and tight. Once I figured out how tight I needed it, then I just took a pen and I marked on the side, then I trimmed off both sides, put it together. 
came together pretty seamlessly like that. So keep that in mind. And the one that I'm building right now is for my fiance. She is about a full head shorter than I am, about 11 inches shorter to be exact. And I have sized this down 10%. So um, keep an eye out for that. Yes, Fallout 97, this is in fact EVA foam. So yes, answer to that question. Um, all right, well, let's jump into this monster. First piece I'm gonna do, if you cut all your pieces out and you're following along with me, um, for anybody who's not watching live stream right now, we're watching months from now, we're starting off with this big piece here first. Okay, there are these two little flaps on the uh, top, this side, and on this side here. On the back of them, you're gonna need to make a corner cut, as you can see I've done right there, where you take the edge off at about a 45 degree angle. You'll do a groove channel right in the back here so this thing folds down nice and flush. And if you don't know what the corner cut is, check my EVA foam cutting tutorial video out. You can see how I do it there. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this one here because I have not done it yet. But that makes it so this piece uh, melds nice and flush right on down here and gives a nice curved lip to this part of the thigh that we're doing. Okay. As always, Wicked Sharp box cutter. The best way to do this, cut into the, um, the piece at a downward angle. You're gonna do 45 degrees. So you'll start at the very top corner and you will do a few easy pulls. You'll probably have to do about three or four pulls before it finally cuts all the way through. It does, just pull a little piece out. Actually, yeah, I cut the wrong side there. Whoop. Gonna flip over and do the reverse. Look at that. You see me do a in the field repair right away. Oh, and by the way, I'm using Loctite super glue for this build right now over, um, over hot glue. I do use hot glue, but I use hot glue at the end when I'm reinforcing my pieces. That off to a great start already. Okay, let's try this again. Cut from this side. Cut into the piece. Again, 45 degree angle. Back and in. The reason I want to cut top down is because I'm going to be folding this piece to the back. So pull this little channel piece out there. I have a 45 degree groove there. Do it on both sides of this little, um, this little channel that we've cut already when we we're pre-cutting out the pieces. Pull that out of there. And then down the very, down center, very center, center, we're gonna go a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch down, down this down down this thing. So, so right where it meets, both sides. Pull that out of there, just like that. And we will do a little bit of glue on the inside edge here first, right on that corner there. Bit of glue and then we'll stick that edge to edge first so pull it out stick it edge to edge let it make contact and then you'll be folding it down so we'll let that dry there while we stick the other side got my little smoother pieces out here to smooth out the glue and we'll hit this edge up here as well up there tuck it in let that dry, and if it bubbles out, is good, because we can smooth that over that that um, little groove that we've just cut to help reinforce it. So leave that there for now, we'll do this side. Again, pull it up, get it right on that corner right there, put it right to the top edge. See how I'm doing right here. Down. Be aware if you're using a Loctite, you will get some glue in your fingers. It's just a hazard of working with this kind of material. But I prefer using Loctite for my initial attaching phase because it dries so much quicker than, uh, than hot glue does, and it's quite a bit easier to work with. Wipe the moss off. All attached from here to there. Now we'll put a little bit on the back. So you don't need a crazy ton, just a little ribbon to attach it because as I said we're going to come back through and we're going to be reinforcing the back. So this is just to get it to hold the shape that we want it to hold. And we'll just press in gently all the way down the length of the piece here. Just like that. 
And for any of you, this is your first time to my channel, welcome. It is awesome to have you here. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, share it with your friends or anyone you know who is doing an armor build. My name is Age of Legend. It is an honor to meet you. All right, so one side done, you can see how it makes this little uh, lip now, which is gonna be part of a curve that goes around the entire um, front part of our piece here. So, or excuse me, yeah. No, this is the back part of the piece, but it goes all the way around. Doing the same thing on this side now. A little bit of glue, and we're gonna tuck that in. Do a little dab right here, in the middle, and on the edge there, and fold it up. Just like that. Use a smoother piece here to smooth out the glue that we just attached, and that will help it to dry quicker. And it dries real quick. It's five second glue. So there is our lip we've got on both sides here. Next up, we have a small rectangular piece right there. What we're gonna do first is we're going to glue the bottom of it right inside that little notch there. We're gonna go about halfway out on this piece. So about halfway out is where it's gonna make contact with that little lip there. So we put it in the channel there on that edge. It's gonna kind of flare out just slightly at the top. Put the, the uh, tinier edge inside first. So midway through, stick it. See how I've got it set there. Smooth that glue out along the edge. Gives it a nice seal. And then we're gonna pull it back and in. We're gonna put some glue on this edge. Up this little side piece. And again, it's gonna stick halfway out. So it's gonna kind of jut out just slightly. Push this in and pull the top in just a little bit. So you'll have about an eighth of an inch rise coming out of it. And that is just some surface detail. The functionality of it really isn't too much. It's just a surface detail. You can see that little edge sticking up right there. That's what we want to do right here. All right. Is this live now? Yes, north, south, this is live now. Use liquid cement. Ah. <laughs> Noisy Rush, you are not late this time. Welcome on back. Oh yeah, also shout out to Noisy Rush because Noisy Rush is a baller and he has been with me since I started doing uh, live streaming. So welcome on back, brother. All right, same thing on this side. I'm doing it halfway right there. Making sure it attaches, smooth this right on in. Blammo, that sucker is done on that side. I have cut this piece out here. It is, where did you put it? It's right. Here, however, I'm not going to attach it just yet because this piece may be the piece that I need to leave out again, like I did for mine. Uh, depending on how wide this is, by the time we're done, I may need to cut a section out of this as well to fit my fiance's legs. So don't put your um, little fold over piece in just yet. Save this for the end. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and heat this up, and we're going to curve this gently. We're going to give it about that much of a curve, like a bowl. This side, just a little bit of a curve as well. We're gonna try and keep the front of this here um, relatively straight. We don't want it to be too curved. Heat from the back. All right. And give it a nice gentle curve there. Um, thing about using this uh, heat gun is do not boil the foam because if you get too close to it and hold it on for too long, the foam will start to bubble and will start to uh, give off gases which you don't want to breathe in. Some people will recommend using a respirator. You don't need a respirator if you're not burning the foam. So um, you can see the texture will start to change just like a slight, um, like a slight color when you hit it with the uh, heat. So when you see that whole thing take overall, it's usually just a few seconds after that. That's about as long as you need to keep the heat on it. Um, some foam is a little bit thicker, so you may have to heat it a little bit longer. And that is about the perfect curve that we want for this side here. A little bit of heat on this side. Right, 
And uh, also, too, that on that note about um, heating up EVA foam, there is methods of heating it up inside the oven, and that's if you're going to do like a, um, a press down casting. If you're doing like a chest piece for a female suit, and you've got a couple of bowls and you need to do the bust for, you'll heat it up inside. Um, you can do it inside the oven or else use a heat gun and have somebody pushing uh, down on it. If you do heat it up in the oven, it's going to gas because the oven is going to get really hot really quickly and it will melt some of the foam. So be aware of that. You'll want to wear a respirator or else do it with all the windows and doors open. Okay, light curve on that. See how we got that there? That is just about perfect. Um, and actually, I'm going to give just a little bit more of a curve on here. Not too much. Um, but you know what? I'll say that till later. Okay, next little piece that we have is this little uh, kind of rainbowy looking shape here. And we're going to attach that to the bottom of this here, but we're gonna to have to make an angled cut on it. Like I showed you before with this upper piece here, how I cut it at a 45, I'm gonna trim the upper edge off here at a 45 degree angle all the way around and stick it onto this here. So it gives me a nice little lip. Again, reason I do that is because it comes together seamless when you do the angle cut on it. Dang. Sorry you sprained your forearms, dude. That really sucks. Uh, uh, up here in the north, excuse me, um, I'm actually further south now. I am in Nashville, Tennessee, so I guess, I don't know, maybe I am north of you, but we are doing well. Gearing up for a KaiCon, which I have been talking about and talking about and talking about for the, about the last month. And a KaiCon, the official date is set. It's going to be the 26th. Of August through the 29th, so the fourth weekend in August, I'll be giving an armor panel there and a prop building panel, and we'll be doing a whole lot of giveaways. Um, we have a bunch of awesome voice actors that are going to be there from Funimation. We have J. Michael Tatum. You probably know him as Sebastian Michaels in Black Butler, as well as a bevy of other shows. Eric Stewart best known for Seto Kaiba in Yu-Gi-Oh! and Dan Green, best known for Yugi in Yu-Gi-Oh! are going to be there as well, and they will be doing a live dueling match, Seto versus uh, Yugi, so be sure and uh, check that out if you're into the Nashville area. And I'm going to go ahead and heat this up just a little bit and give it a slight bend. bend on here, nothing crazy. And with EVA foam, you're going to want to bend it a little bit further than you think you need to because the foam is going to try and pull itself back out. So when I say a slight bend, I mean like I'm cranking on it here and it's gonna pull itself out. You can see it trying to do it already. So that's actually perfect for what we need. And we'll go ahead and edge to edge along here, the whole length of this piece here. So put the glue on the least amount of surface area that you got first. So that being the smaller piece here that I'm attaching to the larger one, right on the edge, we'll do one corner first. Instead of just walking this piece gradually down, we're going to do this corner first, and then we're going to do the other corner, and then we're going to hit the middle of it. That way we don't end up shorting ourselves on the full length. So I'm going to pull it a little ways, and I'm going to stick it to this corner, get it right on the edge. Just a little here. Stick it. bubble of glue on there, so I'm going to smooth that out. Alright, pull this out a little ways here. Go right along the ridge of the glue. And a little bit much on there, which will smooth out. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I filmed this whole build the other day, but the microphone I was using on the camera was a poor quality mic, so I had to scrap the entire build. So I'm doing it all over, but that is all right. Okay, so there we are, that whole piece attached. Again, on the back, run a little bit of glue down this seam, and then we'll just tuck it on in. So just press in gently on there. Make sure it makes full contact. If you gotta pull it in, pull it in. If you can hold it with one hand, smooth it out along the little groove here. See what I'm doing? 
smooth that glue into that place, help it to dry quicker. Um, after this noisy rush, I have um, the helmet to do, I have the chest to do, and the hand guards to do. So three pieces total after this one. Down here, well, good. Okay, cool. All right. Next up on this piece, we have this other little, uh, I guess, kind of U-shaped little piece here. This one is going to fit right inside this upper cavity right here. The way we're going to do this is we're going to heat this up just a little bit. We're going to bend it inwards like that, and then I'm going to take this and right to the edge. I'm going to take literally that corner edge there and put it right to this corner edge here. So it's going to jut just slightly. It'll be like um, slightly angled out like that, so it'll have a little bit of a, a ridge to it. Oh, awesome, good, I sound good, excellent. I'm gonna heat the top of this this time. Okay. And I can just start to smell the EVA. Um, when I heated it, so if you can just barely smell it, you're pretty much good for heat. Um, again, if you feel more comfortable wearing a respirator, by all means do so. Do not let me tell you to not be safe with this. Um, and I'm sure you see me getting pretty close with my hands to that heat gun. I've worked with heat, uh, I'm working on cars a lot, so my hands are kind of cultured to it, but be careful, okay? That gun gets very, very hot. Okay. So now, going to again, Hit this corner. Hey, baby. Hey. When you get a second, could you grab me a paper towel? I totally spaced on grabbing one. All right. So we'll do, again, this corner side here first. You see how I've kind of wedged it in there? Same on the other side. Hit this corner second. Okay. Put it right to that upper edge there. I usually do about two inches worth. It's pretty easy to control on that. And we're gonna tuck this right in. Are you ready? Yeah. How's your day? Still on the forums. Well, hey, the forums are a complicated bill, so don't feel bad about, bad about that at all. Um, the first time I went for building a set of EVA foam, I started with the forearms and quickly found out that just about no matter what, whatever EVA foam suit I'm making, the forearms are always the tricky part. So if you're knocking those out first, the rest of this whole thing should be a breeze. All right. So middle's done. I'm just going to press both corners into place here, and we'll be good to go on this. So a little bit of glue up on that inside ridge. Again, press it on in, making sure you make contact with just the corner all the way around it. There we are. That one's good. And on this side. And here we go. Boom. There we are. Contact. Smooth out the glue on here. Okay, so there we are, fully attached. Uh, again, I'm going to do a little bit of glue in the back here, but I'm not really going to push in too much because I don't really need this piece to be totally smashed in. So, in all honesty, I'm just going to put a dab of glue on the bottom of these here, and I'm going to wait till the end and fill this full of hot glue so it holds right where it is. So we'll just do a little dab here, a little dab there, and smooth that in. And smooth that one in. Okay. So we will go ahead and yeah, my other side piece here for reference point. Okay. So we're gonna set this whole thing aside. We're gonna take this piece and to the side for now. We will come back to it in just a little bit. But we're going to build a another full section that we're gonna be attaching to this here. Give me just a couple minutes on that. There we go. All right. You have some pieces like this here. Um, 
Awesome. Yay. Hey, welcome to the video. All right. So like I said, you get these weird little pieces here. And these are going to be um, being cut on the back here. You're going to be cutting these groove channels out and a lot of corner edge trimming um, on the inside here, these pieces to make them fold in. You can see I've done it once on here already, and that's going to make it so this goes from the top, right flush, and then it goes into this solid little shape like that, kind of angled down slightly to fit in this groove over here. Um, so I'll be doing the rest of those cuts there, and we're going to be building this front piece here, this whole front section. So you can see how it rounds out on itself. We're doing all that right now. From Spain, Adrian Rice, awesome from or Adrian Rice, Adrian Arca from Spain. Nice to have you on the video. All right, so again, doing um, a V channel down the back of this where we've marked it. I've done how it, you can see here. I'm gonna mark down it, and I'm cutting just bigger than a quarter of an inch on either side of my mark, which I'm gonna pull out this little V-shaped groove piece out of there, and that will let me bend my piece in without having to put heat on it. So there we are there. I'm gonna flip it over now, because I need to take a section of this away. So I'm gonna do another 45 degree cut like I did before on the side of the leg piece there. So from the top back, cutting in gently. And you will, like I said, have, you'll have to run this probably three or four times. Don't try and go straight through right away because you're gonna end up chattering through your foam and that sucks when that happens. Cause you might as well just throw the whole piece out. So there we go, a few times through. Get inside there and just pull that sucker out of there. Stay open, bag. Okay, you see I've got this marked off here too. This whole side needs to fold down so that it makes this little rounded ridge. So I'm going to be doing a V channel cut all the way down this. So you can pretty much hit this in one big go. To do this V cut properly, you're going to need to have a really sharp edge on your box cutter. So if it is dull and you feel it dragging through the piece, snap off um, the tip of it make sure you get a sharp section. And I usually snap off two at a time because cutting through a uh, thick foam like this, it will dull more than just one section of the blade. This one I'm doing about a quarter of an inch uh, cut for this V channel. So it is about a quarter of an inch wide all the way through. So just be aware of that. You can do more if you want, a little bit more of an extreme uh, fold over edge there, whatever suits your fancy. But doing it a quarter I find on this side here, it makes it so it fits a little bit easier. Okay, so there we are. All this here is now gonna get pulled in and glued down first. So we're gonna go ahead and take some glue, run it on this big piece here for our stability, and use a table to hold it in place. So press in on it. While you're holding it down, smooth that glue out inside there along that edge. Should be good on that, okay, and we're just gonna do the same all the way down the rest of the pieces. So a little stream of glue, roll it up and in, tuck that baby in, there we are. Smooth along there, this side, there. Okay, pull it up, pull it up. There we are, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue in these uh, little corner divots I've got and squish these together. So not a crazy ton, just enough to hold it. Press it in, there we are. Oops, stay away from touching it. Sometimes you gotta fight with the foam a little bit, and that's just part of the part of the, uh, the fun and figuring out how to do this. And a lot of what I'm telling you guys, this is stuff that I figured out. The, um, the Pepecor file is not gonna call out cuts like this to you. You're gonna have to figure this out on your own. It's up to you whether you wanna do the corner angle cuts like I do or the back cuts like I'm doing, but it will make the piece look a whole lot better if you take the little bit of foam out of there to allow it to fold on itself instead of just trying to glue a bl big blocky section down. Back of this around. Yeah, that's a good question. Is anyone else out there working on their own suit? And 
we're going to run some glue first on the inside pieces here, on the very front, and then I'm going to do the back here. So I'm going to do a little bit along the seam edge, right there, and go top edge to top edge first, right on that corner, and you're going to have to play with it, you're going to have to kind of muscle it into place, because it's going to want to try and pull away on you. So squish it in there. Go. And once it's made contact with the top, press it in so it makes that little, I'll set a little ridge down now because that'll fit like this into the little slot of this piece here. And we'll have to pull these, as I said, into place. So we'll go front of that corner piece there, and then back around the whole thing, and then pull it on in. That went way easy. Awesome. In the back, I'm now going to glue along the entire length of this here, fold it in. So we'll do a little bead of glue right down that whole thing there. Fold it up in like that. Along the whole seam, smooth that in. You can see I got a pretty extreme angle on this thing going right now. We want that angle because it's going to open up a little bit later. So we want that edge to be curved like that. Okay. Again, this side, a little bit of glue down it. Fit her together. There's uh, food in there for If you do decide to get her scrapped, it's wrapped in plastic wrap. Mm, I didn't need this today. No? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, front here on this, all the little col the uh, folds and the bends are done. You can see we just did this upper little section right there. So, you can see where we had that fold going. You can see it better on this. That section right here is what we just did. Okay. There's a recess cut right here. So this is, I think, the one recess cut I'm going to show you how to do. Um, put your X-Acto blade through. Pull it along the edge there. X-Acto blade is the best thing to do your recess cuts with. Make sure you know what's behind what you're cutting, too. Make sure your finger is not in the way. Um, be very aware of your digits when you're doing this. Um, and I'm going to poke through now from the top down. So here we are. Poking through and down here. And push the entire piece through, just like that. Pull it out, and we're going to put it back in now, halfway through. So it's going to have this little recessed area to it, which is just over an eighth of an inch, like that there. Do a little bit of glue now on the back here, on the top and the bottom of it. And that's just going to hold it right there. And that would be enough to hold that piece in place. Let's move the glue out along. There we are. Good with that for now. All right. Off here. Okay, so now we're going to do on this piece here. You'll see again we've got little dotted off areas along here. It means we got to do back cuts on this as well. I've already done one side, I'm going to do the other side, and then I'm going to make a cut on the front of this one here in the middle and on, I believe, the back as well. Let's see here. No. I will be making a cut in the middle on the front, and I'll be trimming this edge here. So this piece is going to fold, and then it's going to attach right along its edge. So I'll do that angle cut right now. That's about a 45 degree angle. Right in the middle here, I want just under a quarter of an inch cut, so a little over an eighth of an inch on this here. show you what I mean by how wide the cut is on this. Cutting this little V channel. Nothing crazy. Just that much on there. Okay? A little over. Alright, the back side here, I've already marked this off. I cut one side in the back to fold up. Doing the same on this side. So this side, you do want a little bit more than a quarter of an inch for this V cut here. Because you're going to need to fold this in at a pretty extreme angle. Length 
both areas on either side of your little marked spot. See it coming loose already. Pull it out of there. All right. You have to forgive me if I sound a little off. It has heavy allergies down here where I am currently. Okay. So a little glue along this here. Press that up and in and hold. Smooth this out while it's gluing. All right. Next one here. Hey, five watchers. Welcome to the video, everybody. Hope you all are enjoying, because I am enjoying making this. For those of you who don't know me right now, I am Angel Legend. Welcome to the channel. Okay, that little area is done there. Fold this one up now. So a little bead along the center. Tip it on up. You're gonna have to kind of squish this one because we have a really flimsy little upper piece here. So press in on it. Make sure it stays. There we go. Way easy. Now we'll do this little corner edge there. Just tuck it in. No real, uh, we no need to cut a groove out of that. Let's pull this a little bit. Just a little bit of glue, edge to edge, and there it is. So hold that there while we're holding it. Smooth out that little bubble of glue that we got. Just like that. So that's what the piece is gonna look like. Okay, so now. Before I attach it here, I'm going to just do a little bit of glue in the front of this little itty bitty section here. Just a little bit there. Bend that forward. Okay. And while it's held there, smooth that glue out along it. It's alright if you get a little bit of extra glue on there because it'll actually strengthen both sides of the cut, so that's good. Um, so don't worry if you get a little bubble of glue going on it. There we go. See how it holds that angle there? We want that. So now I'm going to stick this in here. And you're going to contact this piece first here, and that's going to make contact right with the ridge right here. So we're going to flush it in. So we'll kind of get it set the way we want it first. Okay. All right. And you're going to have to jam this in here because it's going to cause the foam to bend at an awkward spot, and that's what we need it to do. So really crush it in there all the way into place, right into the center there. See how I'm doing that right there? You see how it's making this, make this rounded shape now? That's what we want it to do. So press it in there. Again, anybody looking to do this build for themselves, all the files are down below in the description. There's one link that will take you to 405th, and one link that will take you to Pretzels Locker's YouTube page. He's a phenomenal cosplayer. Does really great work and his unfold is awesome for the foam files. Okay, so now these two little points there, you can see they're already flush with that piece right there. We're just gonna glue them right where they are. So pull it back a little bit so you can see what you're doing. Hit the edge of it, just a little bit there. Tuck it back in. We want those to be right on that edge of that seam, just like that. Smooth them out, pull this one up a little bit. Again, right on the edge. If you had to pull it back a little bit, get it in there. There we are. Right in. Okay. Then go to this corner here, and you're going to take this piece, and you're going to end up uh, connecting it halfway, the thickness of the foam there. So this shape here, halfway up the shape is where you're going to put that in. And you can see where this dips down, right where that point is, go right to the edge of that little nodule right there. Pull it out, put it on this side of it, and then press it back in, as I said, halfway on the thickness of that foam, just like that. Right there. Smooth it on out. All right. I'll go ahead and just press in here. So put a little glue there and press in so it holds. So a little bit right there, and then press it in. That should be just enough. That's perfect, actually. And 
doing my fingers already. I think I messed up my bottle actually. So it is spitting out more glue than I want it to, but that's all right. I'll make it work. Oh yeah, it's coming all down the side there. Come on, dude. Work with me. Um, dish soap gets this off pretty easily. Okay, this side here, we're actually going to be coming up a little higher with this side now because this piece here needs to stick up. So for this side, you're going halfway up that top piece. So lift it, stick it, just like that. So glue along the top of this side here. Up and right in halfway in. Boom. So I've got that right there. Tuck it in. Just like that. Now we're going to tuck this piece inside here. So it's sticking up just a little ways. We want it to be kind of pronounced so it'll fit along this edge pretty much connect it to that edge there and then let it stick out a little bit on this side so if you want to kind of press it into where you want it leave it partially up there like that and just do a little bit of glue around there sweep it in On this side here, a little on the top. There we go. All right, there's the first part of this done. Now we are going to take this bottom section here, like this. I've already made one cut on the back. I'm going to make another groove cut on this side here because we're going to pinch that in and fold it. This um, little section here is going to get cut by the little groove out of the front there and it's going to get pulled up. I'm going to show you that here. Again, we just need a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch cut on this. We're not going to glue that in just yet. Okay, and I've already trimmed the one side, like I said. Again, this one here is going to be a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch. Not quite three eighths of an inch wide, just a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch. So you'll want to mark it first, which I already have done. Pull that through, the whole channel on. Okay, now before I heat any, before I glue any of this, I'm going to heat it up first, and I'm going to bend it in like this. So I'm going to bend it like um, in, and then tip it down just slightly. So we'll heat the back of it. Bend it in. Just away from you. So turn it in a little bit further than you think you're going to need to. Like really, like pretty much face it towards itself, and then push down with your thumbs from the back, like that. Okay, that's about right. That's about perfect. Okay, so now we will glue the front here first. So a little bit right on the seam that, press it up and in, sweep it out, okay, and then from the back now, so we'll just roll, pretty much roll that back and in, just a little bit along here, just like that, press it up, if you got to use a table again for this one, do it. Makes it easier for you, do it. A little bit more on the bottom of it here. Just a dab, there we go. 
And ideally, you'll want to be reinforcing the back of all these pieces with hot glue, but for time right now, I'm not going to do that. Right. Top here, that corner to that corner right there. So I'm just going to, a little bit of glue, stick it down. So I need like a dot of glue. And press that right to that corner edge there. And for smaller corner edges, you may have to hold it just a little bit longer because corners like to make these little open uh, little seams right where the, the two pieces, I guess, sprout from. So be aware of that. You may have to fill it with hot glue at some point if it is really pronounced. So back of this here. Just bring that up. Again, a little bit on this corner here, just a dot of it. Just a little layer. And just press that in, just like that. Let's move it out. Okay, now I've got to glue this side to that side there, so you're just going flush with it. This will help to pull the rest of the shape in. So we'll do this side first. Again, just a couple of bits of glue on it. Pull it up a little bit. Press it in. Just like that. Same on this side. Just a little bit of glue right there. Pull it out. In. Press it in. There we are. Nice little shape there. And again, we will do reinforcement on the back here, but we don't need to do it right now. So now this piece here will fit. You're gonna go flush with it. So flush directly to this edge there. Like very, like point edge to point edge. Um, and actually I will be, yes. And there is no need to do a corner trim on this. They're gonna go pretty much just flush right together. Do that very top first, and then shoot to hit dead on that middle. Press it. There we go. Boom. Right on the money. Okay. Now this here is going to go edge to edge. So you're going edge to edge all the way around the whole piece here. So pull it out of the ways. Put some glue right on the edge, edge to edge. Support if you got to, and make the two come together. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Right. Do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to pull this side in a little bit and kind of press in with the back of my thumb so it curves it in a little bit better. So we'll do glue on the least surface area, pull it out, and then I'm going to crush it in there. That will help with that curve. Then, there we go. Uh, almost done with this bottom here. Last little piece, this one right here. Um, you're going to go about an eighth of an inch up from that little uh, base area right here. So a little bit up. A little bit higher for some surface detail. So I'm going to recommend putting your glue about an eighth of an inch down on this piece here and then sticking it in. Man, you are just killing me right now. Ooh. So we're going to do the same thing. Press that in and tip it up a little bit so it hits that whole seam. Smooth in that glue. Right. And then Keeping that same, I guess, height for that whole piece in mind, we're going to press it into the sides here and do about an eighth of an inch rise on all that around it. So we'll do it uh, again. The lee surface area is what you want to glue to or glue um, on and then press it to the larger surface area. That way you're not wasting glue, trying to cover too much of an area. 
screw that in. Side here. If you guys have any questions, please type them on out. I am more than happy to answer any questions you've got for me pertaining to cosplay or Halo or otherwise. So we've got this whole side, this whole uh, front section there. We just built it. Something else here. Only thing we haven't done is that little um, that little uh, detail piece right there. That is something that I added to it. Um, it isn't called out inside the Pepecooler file, so it's something that I just added on my own. Um, I love adding as much detail as I possibly can, so that's why I've done it here. I'm going to lay it on, and I'm going to trace it out real quick where I want it to sit. I want it right on that edge. Right there. Come back through with my glue. When you're doing service detail areas like that, do the outline of the little box you're gluing to first. And then just a couple little slashes of glue in the middle of it. Make sure you got it where you want it and roll it into place. Press it down and you're good to go. All right. Another side done. We're going to take this and we're going to set it aside. We're going to keep rolling right on along. Hmm. Build now. Ooh. There we are. Okay. We're going to build this little section here, this little rounded section. We're not going to do this ribbon area yet. We're just going to do the whole middle section. You can see it? That whole middle section right there. Let me show you how to do that. Okay. This one here, um, we're going to give just a little bit of heat to it, and we're just going to bend it real gently. Nothing crazy on this. Do it from the top. Good question there, Noisy Rush. Um, I toss them out. Once they get dull, I don't bother to sharpen them again. Um, so I buy them for like $1.68 a pack of three uh, for box cutters. So I just pitch them once they're bad. Um, the X-Acto blades, um, they stay sharp for quite a while, so you'll get a, a bit more use out of those. Uh, but yeah, once they're dull, it'll start tearing your foam. You don't want your foam to tear. You want as clean of edges as you possibly can get. You see those edges are really nice and clean. So just pitch it when it gets bad on you. Okay, you see I've already done the recessed areas there, but those are ones you'll want to do with your X-Acto blade. Those little um, divoted areas. Okay. Next up, we're going to do this little piece here. Now, I've got these little um, recessed spots here. I've already cut these. We're just going to take those out for now and set them to the side. This one here, we're going to bend in. When we bend in now, we're going to be pressing in with our thumbs. So we're going to bend in and push in. With the back of our fingers, push up. So the, your thumb is going to make this little dimple, and it's going to crimp the piece like that. We want this little tail here to flare out just slightly. So heat from the back, and then press in. You're going to rotate it and then press in. Be aware this foam is hot, okay? I'm handling it, it's very, very hot. You may not want to do this first try. You may not want to be handling the foam like I'm doing right now as soon as it's um, been heated up like that, but just be aware. Test it out a few times, see what you can handle, because I don't want you to burn yourself uh, for the sake of your art. You can see I'm curving that in, and I'm bending up at the same time to flare those out. Let's see what we get here. You see how it's got that shape to it? See that little dip out shape? That is exactly what we want, just like that. <laughs> okay. So this here is going to attach halfway inside here. So, <coughs> excuse me. We want this to be. <laughs> Again, allergies. Ugh. Okay, we want to hit this halfway up on that piece there. So, you see how I'm doing this here? I'll, I'll stagger it off a little bit. So a little more than an eighth of an inch, it's going to seat off there. And it's just going to go flush right in there. So corner, corner, middle. Man. Here in Tennessee right now, there is a lot of pollen in the air. So you'll have to forgive me if you hear me sniffling. <laughs> Thank you, Noisy Rush. All right, so there we are. Tucked in there. 
we tuck it in on this side as well. So right on the bottom half of it. Okay, and fit this bad boy right in here. Don't want glue bubbling out on me, so I'm gonna smooth that out. All right, now I'm going to hit along the front here in the middle, and I'm just going to press that in, and then we're going to feed it all the way down and around. Look at that. Here, press it in. And that should stick pretty quick. Nice thing about working with EVA foam and super glue is because we've cut through the foam, it's now porous along the edge, so it glues really, really quickly to another porous edge. So we pull it out, little glue inside there, press this nice and firm in there. Let's see here, a little bit of glue along the bottom half of that, and then press this right on in. So just squishing it right in there. Hold it, and we'll smooth that in. There we are. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So pulling it out. Squish it in. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. This piece here is next. Okay, you see it's got this little center area. Take it out for now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this because we need to refit back in. So just kind of hack at a 45 degree angle from the top down and in. Take off a little bit because we need it to fit snug in there and it won't do it once we round it out. So make it like a little, almost like a little uh, point that's gonna fit inside there. So we'll leave it off to the side for now. Move these little bits away. And then we're only gonna trim one side of this. So I'm gonna corner cut this side here. 45 degrees on this. Right up to the edge. Hey, welcome to the video. The seven washers. Ah, oh, there's a new record. Okay, I'm gonna heat this, and I'm gonna bend one side, bend one side, then glue them together. All right, and again, you're gonna have to kind of pull it hard on this one here. You're gonna pull it further than you think you're gonna need it. Um, because it will flex itself back out, or at least it's going to try to. So kind of dome, shape it out there. All right, same thing on this side now. This one you won't be able to bend as far because it's such a small little area. So just kind of get your thumb in there and press. All right, just like that. So now, I'm gonna do this edge to that edge, and we'll have our little rounded front shape here. So, right along the top of it there, and feed it along that seam. Just like that. I'll show you what the back looks like here. It's going to look kind of like that. All right, so now the little hole in the center there, we're going to fit this piece back in. I've marked um, a little line where I know it's going to attach, so I marked a line down here at the bottom, so I know that's going to go in. So fit right in here, nice and easy. So just like that. A little glue up around the seam of it and smooth the glue over that seam. So I'm going to do it pretty much dot it along there and then I'll smooth it over. This part of it is going to be right up on your hip. So this will be the part that kind of gets stared at the most because it has the largest concentration of detail on this particular piece. So right up around there. Okay. For that there, um, it, this one again is not called out on the drawing or on the pep file, but I'm going to go ahead 
and make our surface detail for it. So almost all the pieces have this little lock feature on them where it's this circle with a little bar through it where the, I guess the tool that unlocks and locks his suit to him is. So we're going to go ahead and just cut out a small one here that's going to fit on there. Best way to do this, use an exacto blade. Hey Gilbert Zuniga, thank you very much. I really appreciate that, man. We're we're readily and steadily climbing along. I think I've gone up about 200 subscribers the last three weeks in a row. So we'll see if we can keep that going. All right, Exacto Blade works the best for this. Rotate the piece you're holding. It's way easier, and you can kind of pull at the same time. That's eighth inch foamy that I'm using there. Now I'm gonna do these half round little cuts in there. Sorry if I'm kind of getting in my own light here. It's hard to see, I apologize. This is kind of a very detailed little spot. Go ahead and do the same thing on this one. And I am actually going to heat this piece up before I stick it on because heating it up actually makes the edges, if the edges are, are frayed and shattered, it makes the edges kind of shrink back a little bit. So it should clean up any little marred areas that I've got on it. So we'll heat it up. And it did just that. Um, you probably can't see it too well on this video. Heating it up made it most of the little uh, tattered areas shrink on it, so that's cool. Nice stream. Hey, Flero17, thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. All right, so now I'm just going to stick it around here. Slight angle, should be good. On the little piece itself first, a little bit of glue, and there it is. Boom. Okay, so that piece there. There is our service detail, and again, this isn't called out. I like to add it though. All right. This one here, we're going to recess this inside of here. So this little lip on this uh, part here, we're going to put at the very bottom here, we're going to come in maybe maybe just barely an eighth of an inch into the center of that, and then these two little flaps are going to sit on top of these edges. So I'm going to suggest you hit the middle first and then put the flaps on. So we're going to mark this middle just so I know where we're going to hit. I'm actually going to hold it up here and do a mark right there in the center, mark through there, so I know where it's going to line up. What's going on, baby? None. Hmm. What? Hmm. Oh, I haven't been on YouTube in forever. Well, just say hi. I don't know if, you I don't know if I can see. Where are you? I'll, I'll be showing up in a second here. Everybody, this is my fiance. Her name is Kylie, but her... YouTube name is Avarice Rose. You can find her in the, um, the channels <laughs> right next to me. Let's get a little bit further down here. Oh, they don't need to see my face. She's inside my um, channels to the side there, so check her out. She's got a great cosplay page. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now I've got the center on that attached. Now I'm going to pull this up here, and I'm going to take that little tab, put it about an eighth of an inch past the edge of this here, and stick it down. So it's going to... It's going to kind of flare up a little bit when I do that because I don't want the very tip to be down, so I'm going to put the glue um, on the back half of this here. So we will. Both accounts. Oh, dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the subs. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Presser in. Okay. So see how I'm doing right there? It's a little bit flared up just on that little edge there, that's how we want this to be. I don't want it to make full contact. So let's move that in. Hmm. Cool. I'm going to tuck this, tuck in that little edge there, We're right behind the piece now. You're fine. Don't make too much noise. Right. You're fine. Same thing on this side. Let that edge stick up just a little bit right there. 
Chopper Man of Our Dicks. Yes. Yes, a chop. Chopper guy. I think I saw you pitching uh, last time that you were in the channel. If you're gonna if you're gonna pitch on my channel, you better be subbed to my channel. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, so now, like I said, we're tucking this behind here. A little bit of glue on top there, and I think that should be good for now. So pull it down a little ways, kind of hold it with the edges here. A little bit of glue, a little bit of glue right there, and smooth it in. Right there, we are just like that. Okay. This piece here is eventually going to go around this here, but we're going to wait to attach that for just a second. We're actually going to attach it to this piece here first. What I'm going to do for this one here is I'm going to heat it up and I'm going to bend this section down so it's domed out, and then I've got to put a little middle uh, front uh, piece that's going to fit right on the bottom there. So we're gonna heat it up first from the back side. There we are. Hey, Aunt Jemima. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. All right, so we're gonna dome this sucker out here. Going to kind of really, I want a fierce, a fierce curve on this here. So you're gonna pull down and pinch in. It's gonna look like you're trying to shape this into its uh, little black banana, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Pick a freaking fruit. Okay, there we are. And oh, it's perfect. That is just the curve we want. See what kind of slopes off there it's perfect all right the piece that fits inside here is this little one right there again it's just like doing uh, this big piece from before the sides have got to be cut and folded in on themselves only thing different with this piece here is we are going to be doing a cut on the i guess what i'll see here we're going to be doing a how do i describe this we're going to be doing a cut here on the front folding it in and then a cut on the back there. So the whole thing is going to crimp like this by the time we're done with it. I'll show you what I mean here. So we will cut the back part first. We'll do about a quarter of an inch cut on this. Right there. Pull it out. And then the top. Again, quarter inch cut on this one. Actually, you know what, take it back. Do a little less than a quarter of an inch cut on the top here. Because when we fold this, I'll show you what it's gonna do. It's gonna go down and crimp. So watch this here. See how it does that? That little half fold over like that? It kind of does this little accordion look. That's what we want. Okay. So we're going to, I'm gonna do two little cuts on the front here, just that angle there. And that little angle there, I'm going to bend these in and glue it, and then I'm going to fold the sides in. This is a very strange little shape here, and you'll see why in a second. This is going to be about an eighth of an inch you want to take out of this, out of these corners. Don't go too much further, otherwise the piece won't work. So right about an eighth. Any more than that, like I said, it's not going to look real good. Yes, Gilbert, I am actually going to be painting this... Um, uh, Master Chief standard color. I'm going to do the olive green um, with the black accents on it. I'm actually going to be doing the Master Chief armor. So when I do videos from now on that say Master Chief does whatever, people can't say, hey, his armor isn't blue. So fold that in there like that. Hold it with one hand if you got to. Smooth it out. Let that make contact there because we need it to. And oh, look at that. Lovely. All right, same on the other side now. Just a little bit here, a little bead. Pull it up, let her go, and Boom, there we are. Okay, see how it's doing that little pitch forward now? That's perfect. So now we'll bend these back and in. You can see here on this one, 
you see how it'll round? See how I've done the same thing here, and then it's going to round back and then go up and in. So it's got a, a very interesting little shape to it. But these little things make all the difference. So we'll fold it in first. Hey, we're back at the seven viewers. Welcome to the video. Sexy cool. Halo for the win. That's right, Ender Gaming. You know where it is. Don't even. Hashtag team Don't even with that. You take your team instinct to go in the other room. So. Alright. So one side done. A little bit of glue down here. Like that. Hold that sucker up. Now we're going to do the push down and the crimp right there. So we'll do the back first because it'll be easier to hide any extra glue that we've got. Just press it in, hold like normal. Right here, smooth that out. Okay. Now the front, a little bit of glue, not a crazy ton. You will want to kind of bubble out a little bit, but not a whole hell of a lot. So I got a little bit of seam going there. Smooth that through there so it makes contact. Flaro17, thanks, man. I really, I really appreciate that. It's very nice of you to say. Um, this is, I love, I love making these videos, and all the ones that I've ever seen online where someone says, "Hey." Uh, here's a tutorial of Halo armor. We're going to show you how to make it. It's always been they say what they're going to do, and then I see a time-lapse video, but they don't actually explain how they're doing it. It always frustrated me, so that's why I'm making full-length tutorials. So they are a bit longer. Um, I don't do time-lapses, because I want people to see the exact kind of scope of time that it takes to do these. So I really appreciate you saying that. Oh, uh-oh. Noisy Rush, you're calling me out here. I am on Team Mystic. Uh, if I, I can gloat for a second here. The perks of working uh, in a sign shop, I work on a vinyl machine, so I've been cutting custom vinyls for myself. So I've got a big old Team Mystic emblem on the back of my window. And my lady is Team Instinct. Her gems don't last very long around here. So we'll tuck, tuck those corners in there, just like that. All right, you see how that shape came like that? Nice and rounded over, it's pitched forward, and we've got that little uh, kind of angled zigzag to that. Hey, eight watchers, look at that. We're just rolling up. Welcome to the video. Okay, so here we are. Back to this piece here that we've already shaped. What I'm gonna end up doing with this one here, mm, excuse me, just caught my throat. <clears throat> okay, this is going to go flush, uh, not quite flush. We're gonna take this and put this down about halfway into here. So I've cut it a little bit longer than the piece calls out just because I knew that I was going to have that crimp there. So when you do cut this shape out, you cut this particular piece out, give yourself an extra quarter of an inch because you can always take away, but you can't add real easy. So give you a little bit extra there. I do agree that Halo is the best game. I'm actually really enjoying the multiplayer in 5 now that they have um, Firefight Warzone. I, I love how hard it is. Uh, my buddies and I would love rolling through that. Okay, so halfway down inside there, we're going to glue the inside of this first. So, a little bit of glue on the seam, a little on the top there, and I'm just going to do two seams first, I'm going to press it and hold and squish in from the left side there. And it's going to be a weird hold here, but you got to kind of try and hold it with one hand while you smooth the glue out. So, right along in there. Uh-oh! Noisy rush! Oh no! Oh, I've been betrayed! All right. Well, hey, if, if I ever see you at a con, they're making in this next update the ability to battle your friends. If I find you at a con, Noisy Rush, you and I are going to duke it out. Team Instinct takes it on uh, Team Mystic. That'd be great. Oh, I have a friend. Yeah, I know. He says, he says, Team Instinct all the way, man. Your lady knows where it's at. Yeah! <laughs> Sparky. Sparky. Yeah, Sparky, if you've got an Eevee, you're evolving into a Jolteon. Okay, so press that in there. Again, halfway through. 
smooth that glue down in that little trench. Pinch these two smoothers because they are gummed up. I'm always cutting extra little smoother pieces. All right, so the, the very front little pieces here, those are going to go flush. So just tuck it right in on both sides. So just a little bit of glue on the edge there. Press it in and hold. Smooth it out. There we are. Again on this side here, a little bit. Press it in and hold. Let's put it there. Okay, now for this top piece here, this is going to go flush into the sides. So you're going all the way down. Make sure that little lip there curves around and makes contact here. Um, and actually, um, I'll take it back on that. Yeah, don't do the lip just yet. Just do the whole side. So, right down the side here. Oh man, we got a mixed bag. I got Team Valor shouting out here. Uh oh. There's a Pikachu nest by my house. There's always. Nice. That's awesome. I actually caught my first riot shoot the other day on the way to work. I wasn't driving, by the way. My roommate was driving because we carpool. And I caught myself a riot shoot going about 65 miles an hour. I felt like a boss about that. But he's only like 66 CP, so he's not really worth a damn yet until I find a few more that I can amp him up with. Okay, there we are. So just like that. And you see how this little, how it's kind of tucking down just a little bit past there? We want that. So just tuck it in, put a little bit of glue right inside there, and leave it tucked just slightly. So you can see a little piece there, just gonna tuck it in. Spartans, oh god. <laughs> and their game. Spartans, of course. Every time. Pokemon Go Spartan Armor. Hmm. Uh, that might have to happen. Okay. Here we are. Red team, blue team, and yellow team. Okay. All right. I'm gonna heat this up a little bit here and give it a gentle curve back. Kind of like ribbon. Just about good like that, and then just give it a twist, just like this here. That should give us enough of a curve. Go like back. Let's see here. Booyah. Just like that. Okay. Now we can put this piece inside. Um, we don't got to heat this up at all because it's pretty thin anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take the front section here first, and I'm going to put it about an eighth of an inch down. So this is going to stick up a little more... Maybe a little tiny bit more than halfway, or if you want to do halfway up, go ahead and do halfway up just to be safe. Um, we're going to put the front two pieces in first and then wrap it around the edge here. So just a little bit of glue on this spot there. First and foremost, and then like I said, go ahead and push this in halfway. And you go flush with it. So just press it straight in, no weird angle you've got to bend it at. Do this side now, right on the edge. Press this in halfway. There we are. Yes. Actually, I already got the Xbox One Halo 5 model, like the special edition. So if you, you can find the video on my channel of the unboxing, and I am wearing my Spartan armor in that, so it's worth the watch. Okay, I'm going to walk this up all the way down the side, but first I'm going to put the corner in here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, again, halfway. So I want this lip all the way around the entire thing. But I'm going to do the top first. So do it on this piece here. Fit the section right in. And squish it in if you got to. It is just like that. That's about how much I've got sticking up out of it. Just like that. I'm gonna feed it on down. So 
So I'll pull this out because it's pretty flimsy. I'm gonna hit this whole thing in one big shot. A little daring, but no guts, no glory. So we're gonna walk it down. Push right into the little curve here first. So pushing in there, pushing in, pushing in, pushing in. And boom, there it is. Press it nice and in there. Get that glue to press out as well. And then smooth down the edge. Just like that. Scorpio. Ah, a Scorpio, okay. I am a Aquarius. Okay. So now for this side here, this is where we're going to be attaching this piece. So remember we did this piece earlier, this is where it's coming in now. Okay. This whole edge here is gonna go um, above this here. So we're gonna go halfway up on that and then that little piece here is going to attach to this little edge there. So the whole thing is now gonna start to force itself into shape. So we'll do the little piece first and you're gonna go right on the edge. So literally right corner to corner. So dot right there this up and smash, there it is. Oh, look at that, they love being together. Oh, I love you, I love you. Hey, thank you, Ender, I really appreciate it, man. This is um, what the final look is gonna be right there. This is uh, the one I did for myself. The one I'm working on right now is for my lady, but that is the, um, this will be the side where the hip is, and then this here is the front of it, um, the inside with the, of your thigh, and then this is the back, and it's got an opening so you can actually bend your leg through, which is really super nice. You can actually sit down in this suit of armor, thank the Lord. Okay, so pressing it, pressing this in the rest of the way, we're gonna go, like I said, halfway, all the way up. So this shape here is uh, it's pretty much like lock and key. So you can do the whole thing all in one shot there because you know just where it's going to fit. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the glue on the uh, less flimsy piece first, halfway down. And here we go. Pull it off a little ways. Get the corner in, that little corner edge. And press. Ooh. There we are, just like that. Squish it right on and in. See how I'm doing this right there? Just like that. Press her in, press her in. Smooth the glue out along there. Halo Reach, hell yeah. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the top first and then walk the glue down the edge of this whole thing. So you see how that, they're gonna match up nice and flush there? Again, going halfway. And if you guys, um, did any of you guys play the beta for Halo Wars 2? I did not get around to playing that. Um, I don't know if it's any good yet. So please let me know what you guys think about that beta because it looks pretty sick. Get that wrap around there. And again, all down the whole edge here. So if you want, get it right where you want it to be um, first. If you can hold it, yeah, I'm not even going to be able to do that. It's too wide a piece. Okay. So I'll pull it up a little ways. Get that glue down the middle of it, in the bottom half, and there we are. And press it in, and just work it down. Again, you're halfway up the other piece, so there we are. Squished in real good. Smooth that glue out. Make that seam look nice and sexy. Um, it is good, okay, cool. I'm gonna have to try it out then. I uh, used to be really into those top-down strategy games like Red Alert and Dune, um, all those games. My brother was insane at them. I, I don't know how he would, how he was so good at them, but he would mass up armies for hours just for one mission. He was a freak for those. So he smoked, I think, Halo Wars in a day. So now this here, again, you're going to go halfway on this piece. You're going to go halfway on that piece, and then you're going to go halfway on this one. So you're going to have to kind of like Squiggle this bad boy up in a little ways. So this is where you get to deflect your little finger muscles, make them work for you. All right. Shape there, the edge. Right. Halfway, like I said. Press it in. You can see this thing taking 
form really quickly here. The legs are awesome, and the forearms are awesome, and the calves are awesome. Any shape that's like cylindrical that wraps around an extremity, I really like those the best because even though you may not quite get it formed super right with uh, your heat gun on like this side here, it's really open. By the time it's all put together, everything is forced into shape because it's got to attach to itself. So that's why I really like pieces like that. Okay. So now, like I said, we're going to have to pull this up a little ways. So the best thing to do here, what I'm going to say is pull it past where you need it to be first and then let it slide down. And once it's seated where you want it, try and hold it right there. So I've got it pretty much seated right where I want it here. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just run glue along the edge of it. So I'm going to dot it inside there. And now I'm going to come back through with my foam and I'm going to smooth that glue into the edge. That's how I like to do this little spot here. It's the easiest way to do that. Um, and it saves you the hassle of having to reset it and reset it and reset it because you are torquing the foam now at this point. Which is cool. Got a whole lot of kinetic tension built up. But there we are. So nice and leveled up there. Okay. So now looking at this, we can see that this side is up a little higher, which is totally fine. That's actually built by design because this has to pull down a little ways. But now we can see where we need to put this to make it fit in there properly. So I'm just getting like a level for my eye right now just to see where it is. And I'm going to mark the front of this. So I know I need to have at least that vertical. Because I did one the other day and it was tipped like that and it sucked. So figure out where you need to mark it. If you have to mark right in the middle, mark right in the middle of it. You can see what I did here. Marked it right where I'm going to attach it right there. With a ballpoint pen. Oh wow, you're playing it right now. That's awesome, dude. Look at that multitasking. God, the fans are amazing. Man, awesome. The heads are bugged. Dang. Wow, three slots for one troop? It's a little excessive. Well, yeah, you know, at least if it was it was fun. I can expect that it would have little bugs because it is the beta after all, but still that's awesome. Okay. So now this little this little um, tiny piece here, this is going to fit around this little shape that we've done here, and it's going to add a little bit more girth to it. This one does require a corner cut, which I've already done. So you can see I've done that little shave off edge there, uh, about 45 degree angle it did right there. So I'm going to heat it up a little bit and just give it a gentle bend. Just, you're going to have to, I, I say gentle bend, but you got to kind of torque on it a little bit and cock it out a little bit like that if you need to. Um, that's probably actually good, just like that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So this here, we're going to go edge to there first, edge to here first, and then we're going to kind of flush the whole thing down. So if you need to, for this one here, you can probably get away with doing glue on this whole face. So do for the very top first, and then do like two little lines of glue, just like that. Punch the top in at that very upper bit, and then just wrap it. Yes, just like that. You want it to be flush right there, which is good. Okay, that's perfect, actually. Nice. And be aware if you do that, it will try and squeeze out the bottom, so you might get it on your fingers. So if you want to just do the edge first, and then just come back through later, by all means, do that. I may do that on this one, actually. So a little bit of glue on the edge here. There we are. And then push this bad boy into place. A little bit. Oh, my God. Okay. Now find my middle on here. I do have some gaps on the side here, but those are going to get pushed in. So find your middle first where it's going to be set. Mark it if you gotta. I'm going to mark it there. I'm going to hit glue on this whole front edge first. So we'll do a little bit here. A little off topic on Halo, but if you guys seen any of the gameplay for We Happy Few, I am really freaking excited for that. I cannot wait to get my hands on that game. And also, I need to play Inside, because I was a huge fan of Limbo, and that game looks right up my alley. So, thoughts on that? Right. 
Now I'm going to hit this side here, smash it. you got to really go for it with this one because it's an awkward spot there, so you got to crush the foam into place. I'm debating. Um, after, after this build that I'm doing here, this Halo 4 build, I'm going to be doing a Halo 3 build of the Mark VI from that. Um, after that, though, it's a toss-up. I'm either going to do um, the Anubis set of armor. I'd like to do the Anubis set of armor. I'm going to do either that one, the Recruit armor from Halo 4, or I'll be doing the, um, the Jaeger from uh, Pacific Rim. So let me know which one you guys think I ought to go for next and do a, a build breakdown of because... I am a huge fan of Pacific Rim, but I am also a wicked huge fan of Halo. So, I would love your input on that. There we are. Walking it in. Edwin579, welcome to the video. Yes, I have played, I've played all the Halos. I've got them all, actually. Um. And I just got, actually, the uh, Master Chief Collection as well, so I get to replay them all over again. Yes, I love Halo 2. Okay, and those little itty-bitty pieces that I took out of uh, those little recess spots, we're going to put those back in now. So I, you see I trimmed it off at kind of a weird little angle. I'm going to stuff it down inside there. So kind of place it where you want it first. Grab yourself a pen and tamp it down in there just to make it fit so you can see what I'm doing here. It's kind of squishing it on in. And once you get it set where you want it, you'll just do a little dab of glue inside there and it'll hold it nice and in. So you can see how it is right there. Just press it in. And... Ooh. Ooh, Gypsy Danger, yeah. I think I'm going to do uh, the one with the... Uh, the one, the, the, the one that they blow up at the very end. I think I'm going to do that one. Just because he's got that awesome fiery core in his chest. I think that would be pretty sick. Dude, Master Chief Collection, Gilbert, you got to get it, man. It is sick. Only it's weird if you've been playing the Halo 5 multiplayer and you try and jump back in to uh, multiplayer on like Halo 3 or Halo 2. Oh my gosh, does it feel slow. I was getting smoked by people. That and the buttons threw me off a little bit. I, I mean, I have, like, no excuses. I was just out of practice when it came to that. Got whooped. Okay, so those are pressed in there. Take this now. Little dab on top. Little dab on top there. And smooth that glue into those little spots. All right. Yeah, dude, I love... Dude... If it's Halo, I love it, man. All the old ones. I have played. Um, I have played the original Halo for Xbox. I think I've beaten that game through probably twelve times on every difficulty. Like I've played the daylights out of that game. I love it. Ender Gaming, pretty. You're pretty sick of Halo Five. I might have to. Might have to see you, see you play one of these days. Do you do any um, game streaming on your channel? I'd love to check that out if you do. Okay, I'm going to pinch in the back now here and make sure that I've got full contact all around this side here. So right down that whole trench and then really squish it in because I need full contact on this piece here. So press it in, press it in, press it in like that. I'm thinking about doing a game night. I, um, a lot of people have been asking me for my gamer tag, and I, I just haven't given it out online. Um, for uh, for a lot of reasons, but I will say this much: the uh, I am part of a Spartan company. So if you look up the Spartan company, the Spartan company is the Argonauts. So if you can find that, that is the Spartan company that I play in. And I'll leave it to you to figure out what my gamer tag is on there. So best of luck to you, Spartans. All 
right, so get that nice and pressed in there. We are, okay. This piece just about set, ready to go. Hmm, excuse me. Okay, this one here, I am going to now heat this piece up, this little like uh, bowling pin looking thing. Heat this up here, and I'm going to give it a nice curve right through the middle. At the same time, I'm gonna curve and pull in like the other one there. Bend and curve down. Hey, also, you guys, thank you so much for um, hopping on the chat and hopping on this video. I really appreciate it. You guys are why I do these videos. Um, you make this all supremely worth it. And it's awesome that you guys are being so awesome. So, good on you guys. Here we are. Curving this. Looks like I'm trying to break it almost like I'm snap it in half here. And there we are. Curve just like that. Okay. Back to the big piece here. Okay, so this bad boy here fits right on into here. So I'm going to show you here. It's this section here that I'm doing right now. That whole piece right there. Okay. So for this one here, I'm going to end up... How am I doing that? I am... Okay, here we go. I'm going to go flush on this edge here, right there, and then I am going to pull this up and in. I'm going to go halfway, or excuse me, I'm going to go and, and uh, flush into, not flush, I'll go halfway down on this one here. So this will end up being kind of like this. It'll be halfway down all the way up this little ribbon. So it'll, it'll like be another step down, I guess, if you will. So hit this first. Hey, another watcher. Welcome to the stream. Hey, thank you very much, Pharaoh. I appreciate that. This is my, it's my passion, my dream. All right, so I got that in there, nice and tight. All right, and I'm gonna do the top first, and again, halfway down the piece. So we're stepping it down, so. Go up there first, right on that ridge, pull it down. The reason we're stepping it down like this is because there's another piece that I'm going to put on top that is actually cut like a key to fit in these little grooves here. So stepping it down is actually part of the process. And again, they won't tell you that inside the PEP file. You're going to have to figure it out. So hopefully I'm saving you guys some time. Keep walking this down. Again, halfway down that piece. So keep feeding it in, feeding it in, feeding it in. There we are. Yes. All right. Here we are. It works if you work it. Do the rail for me. Gummed up my bottle of glue. There we are. Come on now. Get in, get in. All right. Making contact. All right, there we go. A little bit more down here in the corner. Like I said, you're gonna have to fight with the foam sometimes. You're gonna have to get inside there and pretty much force it to go where you want it to be. So the shape is now really starting to take a lot of form. Do some glue on the top there, just crush that in. That's it. Hey, thank you, Ender Gaming. I really appreciate it, man. I I try and keep them as interesting as possible. I mean, like I find armor building and uh, like prop making super like I don't know. I, f I find it quite a challenge, so I love to do it. Um, actually, I'm going to get a video up here of kind of a surprise build that I did a while back, and it is uh, South Park in nature, so keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Great response, boy. Gilbert, you're killing me. I love it. 
Okay, here we go. So now we're going to be putting this whole huge triumphant bastard right there. We're going to be tucking that right into this edge here. You can see how it's got that shape. It's like a key. It fits right on in there. You see that? Look at that. It's weird. It's like they were made for each other. Okay. With this here, it's going to be super simple. We're just going edge to edge down the entire thing. So this will all fit really easily. So edge to edge. Don't do the top little lip there. Go edge to edge down this first. Get gummed up like glue. There we go. Oh man, shoot. Woo. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take some sandpaper to my fingers tonight, that's for sure. There you go. All right, whatever. Here we go, and right on the corner of that edge. that, feeding it in, the whole length down the whole thing, so here we go again right on the edge, okay. get it right into that corner there, really press it in good. Tip it up a little bit as you're starting to do this because we need this to sink down a little ways. So smooth that out some more. And we're gonna keep working it. You can see this right there, right there in that little spot right here. Again, flush, flush, flush. Now when you get to this top part here, you're going to have to push that in. So this little angle there, you're going to tuck that in there. It's going to be tough. Little, really smash down. See how I got that there? Tuck it underneath that lip and go this whole seam. So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to line it up where I want it and hold it. And I'm going to put glue on top of the seam. It is trying to fight me though. Let's see if I can get this here. You know, I'm gonna have to pull it up a little ways and just hit it. Glue is fighting. There it is. Stay where I put you, glue. Stay where I put you. All right, there we go. Okay, just like that. Little the seam there. Yeah, they do. I suppose have a halo, a little bit of a halo reach feel there. Um, probably because halo reach, they tried to make the suit of armor. This is actually a NASA thing. They tried to make the suit of armor as realistic as possible in terms of um, if you were actually to be out in space fitted with a suit of Spartan armor that was equipped with life support to handle a like, certain number of hours, like what would it need to look like and how big would the pack be? And that's why um, from that point on, they started making the suits closer to a more realistic um, application, which is why the suits in Halo 4, which is why, I don't know if it's for, for certain on this point, but it's why I think the suits are more geometric inside there because they're made more practical. Okay, again, feed it all the way down, right down the edge. I'm gonna see how it's gonna go a little bit past there. I, excuse me, I am going to pull this up and make it hit flush with that bottom edge there. I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna pull this here right on the top edge there. And squeeze that together. Oh yes, um, undersuit. Right now, the undersuit that I have, I have an exoskeleton that I bought. Um, I actually bought some motocross gear, but I'm going to be making my own exoskeleton here, which I will do a tutorial for. Um, my advice to you: pop on Amazon and type in motocross gear, and like the very first link is the suit that I bought, and I think it was twenty-four dollars when I bought it. It's perfect for an exoskeleton. It looks almost identical to the one that he wears in Halo Three and Halo Four. Um, so that'd be my my um, recommendation and actually the suit that I'm sizing right now I am sizing everything upper body wise with the exoskeleton in mind for myself but I know that I can still fit it even without the exoskeleton I've just given myself a little bit more room to account for the exo okay there's that side attached there 
Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put this side in here now. Oh, wait, sorry, not this side. Where's my piece? Where's my piece? Where do you go? Okay, yes. This side has a little angled piece right here. This little awkward, weird little angle. This is going to come, and it's going to hit right inside here, and you're going to go step it down halfway again. We do a lot of step down inside this. It has a lot of up and down levels to it. So like I said, right inside there. So I'm going to hit this edge. We'll hit the whole piece. If I can do this at an angle that you guys can see here. Going off. Oops. Okay. And push that corner. Boom, there it is. Nice and folded. Real easy in there. And again, we appreciate that, man. I I try and um, I try and make it interesting. I try and make it fun. I try and acknowledge people that I, I think are awesome. Like I've, I know I've only got six watchers right now, but I think that's amazing. And the fact that you guys are like interesting to talk to and you're actually really supportive, that means a lot to me. So please continue being awesome. Um, and if I haven't subscribed to you guys, I'm going to look up everybody right now who's on the channel, and I will be subscribing to all you guys to, um, once I'm done getting the glue off my fingers. So look for me on there. Okay, so now wrapping this around here, you see this little bend right there is, that little corner bend? That's going to go flush right with this little bend right there. So we'll hit the corner first, and then we're going to kind of twist it up and fit it all around that edge. So I'll hit this little corner bend. No. Yes, I'm going to scroll back through all the comments on anybody I find inside here right now. Like I said, I will be subbing to all you guys. So do a sub for a sub. That's all right. Of course, man. All right. Now I'm going to punch the corner here first. Um, and you're going to see here this piece. When you're rolling it up, I guess, uh, along this side, it's going to go flush along this edge. And then once you get to the corner, you're going to step it down. So we'll go ahead and tuck the corner in first. Well, actually, no, no, we're not going to do it. We're going to roll this edge first because I'm realizing it's going to be a battle if I don't. Yes, and you're going to have to pull it. So be aware that you're going to have to crush the foam in there a little ways because it's going to have like a, a lot of kinetic tension built up inside of it. Um, so pull it off a little ways here first. There we go. So we have that curve working our way down. You can see how it's going to line up there with that little tooth spot right here. That should fit just where I want it to be. You know, seriously, you guys, you guys are honestly the best, the best stream that I've ever had. Uh, the first one, I think, probably because it said cod piece, nobody really wanted to watch it. Um, but you guys were awesome inside the uh, the forum one. You guys are even better now. Not that you guys weren't awesome before, but you know what I mean. Um, I do plan on doing a, uh, a live stream also for the torso, so keep an eye out for that. That probably won't be for another week because I have my bachelor party this weekend, so I will be out on the weekend, but I have all my pieces cut and ready to go uh, for that there, so be looking for that sometime probably, I'm going to say next Wednesday-ish, so keep an eye out. Um, hey, another watcher, welcome to the channel. Okay, so... We are going to go halfway down on this piece and then halfway down on that piece. So again, we're going to be torquing the piece into where we want it to go. So you can see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pull this back and hit it there. Then I'm going to pull it back further and hit it there. So this whole thing will curve in just a little bit. Not a crazy ton, but it's going to just flip in a little bit. Okay. So we're going to put glue on this side of it right along the top. So hit that there first. Boom, boom. Dude, yeah, the hands are going to be interesting because I couldn't find a pet file for the hands, so I'll be um, drawing it out. And what I may end up doing is um, putting a file up on like my Google Drive so you guys can download it from there so you have a hand template. Um, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing anyway. Okay, so you see where I've tucked that corner right there. I'm going to bend this down now, and I'm going to make this edge work as well. So actually, it's right where I want it to be. So that in mind, I'm just going to put glue and I'm going to run the glue along the edge of that seam there. 
And again, guys, like I said before, you're going to have to come back through and you're going to have to reinforce all of this that you're doing. Reinforce every single seam from the back side with hot glue. You want all this reinforced because the super glue will hold, um, but it can pop if you torque too much on it. And if it does pop, it'll rip the seam. We don't want the seam to rip. Hmm, excuse me. Okay, so you can tell we need to do a little bit more heat on this, but we'll wait on that. Um, you can see there's like a little recessed spot right inside there. The little piece that I cut isn't big enough anymore, so we'll just cut a little piece of scrap real fast. And I'm just going to measure it here so I can figure out what size I need. Give me a second. Okay. So for, for doing a measurement, I'll do usually just a quick a quick little piece and I'll cut it bigger than I think I need to and then I'll crush it and fit it down inside there because the foam gives pretty easily and it makes sure that the seam is a, a whole lot tighter, which is good. We want it to be tight. You snap them off, put them under your cutting mat like that. If you're going to dispose of a blade, what I do is, just so it saves anybody who's going to go through the trash or who's taking the trash out, cut into your foam a little ways and take the point of the blade and bury it in the foam. That way nobody reaches in and gets a handful of steel. So tuck in the sharp edge into the foam like that and then throw the whole thing out. Okay. So this here is not going to fit. It's a little too tall, so I'll probably trim. that much off there. And we'll squish this in. Perfect. All right, so let's see, I've got this set here. Thank you, Willie. Come on, come on, stay with it. More trim. The game, the game life, like uh, the board game life. Is that what you're asking? Game. Oh no, the game life. Um, like, how do you mean game life? Do a little bit of glue. Uh, it's not there. Smooth this in. Ooh, trying to pop out. Come on, stay there. See this too well. Try and get so you can see the piece inside there. So I'm gonna smooth that glue right into it. There we go. Stay. Come on, stay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do know the game life, the board game. What about it? I'm just doing a little bit on the inside just so it holds right now. Okay. There's the bulk of our shape done. As for this piece now, you have this little curved piece here. You have to corner trim this one. So you can see I've already done that there. This now is going to bend down and it's going to fit over this whole thing here. And the shape is going to give you that right there. We're going to have that little shape right there. So I'm going to heat it up a little bit and bend it. I have not played the game of life in forever. I don't think I've ever won at it. I have always gotten right to the very end and gambled it all and lost. So again, extreme bend on this one because it will pull itself back out, but it's pretty easy to correct it. Okay, there. So since we had that little cut already, that, that angled cut you can see, about 45 degrees, that'll attach real nicely here. So I'm gonna go edge to edge like always. So go corner, 
corner and then do the actual rounded portion of it. It'll go a whole lot easier to do it that way. Man, this bottle of glue has had it. Come on, baby. Work for me here. Love Loctite glue, though. They make amazing, amazing products. And actually, their, um, their Plumber's Epoxy Putty is really, really good if you're doing any kind of reinforcement on an actual Pepecora build. You've done fiberglass on the inside of it. The Plumber's Epoxy Putty they make is awesome for reinforcing um, edges like around the, the shoulder or the bicep. It's perfect. Came in second last night. Dude. It's, did, hold on, did you come in second, like, right at the very end, when everybody got there, or did you know you were going to lose for a while? Let's go edge here. Okay, so you see I've got both corners in. I still have a little bit of, like, a, a gap here, but I'm going to fill that here in a second. So with the corners going first, smooth it out, and I'm going to pull this right where I want it to be. That looks good right there. And I'm actually going to put glue just on top of it. I'm going to press in just a little bit so it holds right where I want it to be. And we'll do like this little arc of glue right there. Now I put a lot on there, but I'm going to smooth it out over the entire dome because I want this to be strong. This is the hip, so this will be getting uh, probably bumped into if you're walking uh, between people. So we're going to strengthen it up a little bit right now. <laughs> yes. All right. That's good there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this right inside here now. So find the spot that we put on it before. I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm on the right angle. Again. Uh, yes. Okay. So you can see where this is going to hit. Right there. Okay. It's gonna sit in a little, it's gonna look awkward at first, but it'll all come together here in a second. Put the front in first, and then we're going to pretty much feed the sides right into it. And when you get it to the top here, you're gonna you're gonna recess this edge there halfway through uh, this shape here. So you're just gonna hit the middle of the shape so it's got a little bit of an it's got a little bit of an overhang. William Fisher. Hey, welcome to the channel, William. All right, so we'll do a little bit of glue on this here first. And tuck this bad boy in. Do it so you can see it here. Go right dead center in the middle and then press in just like that. Thanks, dude. Thank you, Ender. I really appreciate it. You as well, Noisy Rush. All right, there we are. Fit in. You can see we're going to line up. It's going to line up just about perfect. It's straight up and down which one of these. It's not going to be tipped any which way. So, okay. So now I'm going to pull first. I'm not going to do the whole edge yet. I'm going to pull first and make sure that that little angled spot hits this angled spot here. So I want it to sit right about like that. So put some glue on the edge here. I'm going to crush that in just that little corner bit there. So smoosh it in there. Give it a few seconds. And blam, there it is. All right, smooth this out here. All right, same thing on this side, only this, you can see the step here. This one here has this like little like lip up there. This one goes boop and then up like that. So you're going to have to smash her in a little bit to make it do what you want it to do. Actually, I'm going to attach it high first. I'm going to put it up here first and then I'm going to push the edge into it. As you can see here, I'm going to do it on this edge here. here, midway, just like that, you know what, I don't have my Snapchat anymore, I do have one, I'm just actually just going to get back on today, um, 
the old phone that I had crashed, and when it did, it deleted Snapchat, and I just never re-downloaded it. But, uh, I probably will. I can't remember if my name is Angel Legend on there or not. Okay. Got a side here now. I don't know if you can see it. That side there, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I'm going to push that up and into the edge. It's going to look a little weird, but it's going to work. So, sorry, I'm going to pull this away from you for a second. Just so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. And here we go. And a one and a two and a crush it. Yes, there it is. Wow, well, look at that. Oof. Sexy. Sexy little leg piece there. Is your sexy little leg piece? Yes, it is. It's trying to. It's trying to go a little bit too far in on me. I got the whole front edge there, so I'm just gonna pull it off just a little way, so I want it to float a tiny little bit. Again, using a very, very sharp X-Acto blade, I want just a little overhang, nothing crazy. There we go. Just like that. That little groove, we want that little groove to be there. So you see how it's got kind of a split now? That's how we want it to look. Hashtag sexy high. <laughs> okay, I'll check that out. Sexy high, all right. Okay. This shape is now in place there. Looks like it's right on par with where we had it before. I am going to put a little bit of glue from the back now because I need this to be strong for what I'm about to do to it. So just give me a second here. Um, this heat gun here is, is a hot glue gun, and I am running it at a low heat setting. It's got the ability to do high or low. Um, do your EVA foam at low heat because the high heat stays liquid way too long, and it is incredibly hot and can actually melt sections of your foam if you're not careful. And it just does not dry quick at all. For whatever reason, the high heat on this just sucks. And it's probably because the, the foam insulates the heat as well, that it just holds on to it so much. It doesn't want to um, cool down quick enough, and you're stuck here blowing on it, which sucks to do because it takes a whole lot longer when you're working on a piece. You've got to sit here and go and cool the glue down every single time you put a piece together. So don't pull away from me, baby. It's trying to pull away. So I'm talking about the hot glue will try and pull away, but it's all right. So we're going to paint. See this little gap I've got going here. Actually, that works. That's actually... Oh, I'm going to leave that little gap right there because I'll be putting um, some Plasti Dip on this in about a week. If you can see there's a tiny little gap right here. I'll be putting Plasti Dip, which will actually fill that in really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Look at that. Happy accident. Large part of... Uh, making things work when you're cosplaying, especially when you're doing armor, is happy accidents. There is oftentimes, like, I'll make something that doesn't, that I don't think works. I'll come back to it and realize that the, um, the little mistake that I made actually adds really cool battle damage or makes another piece that wasn't working, it makes it now work. So you kind of don't freak out right away. Look at it, assess it all, and then figure out, oh, okay, can I work with this? Can I make it work? Can I add something to it to make it work better? And then just modify it. Because, I mean, it's your suit. Do with it what you want to do. Have fun. Be creative with it. If somebody's, if somebody's really going to complain about your suit, like, my only thing to them is, okay, uh, tell them to make their own and do it better. If they're really going to complain about yours. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. So that's set there. Now I'm going to show you these two little pieces here. We're going to find a couple weird little pieces inside this cut here. And if you can see, there's a little, there's a little line drawn. This little, like, this little right angle right in there. Line there. That's, it's showing that's you that it's showing you to cut that out. Cut Don't that cut that out. Cut that out. Instead, Instead, make that little dome shape there, like I've done here on this one. And make the same dome shape on this one as well. Because these here 
are going to be these top pieces here. And if those little dome shapes aren't there, you're going to have this weird jut, like this weird triangular piece missing out of there. And it looks really awkward, so dome them off because it makes the whole thing smooth out a whole lot better. If you can see that there. Lower it so you can see it a little better. Yeah. Okay. So I have already cut these two pieces. I've already done them in a little dome shape. So you can see them right there. That's what I've done. Okay. These way. All right. Now these here are a little weird. They're going to go in underneath this and then attach to the sides here. So for these, you will figure out which one is which. And they have these little notches on them there. So that is where we step this piece up here, that little like ridgy area. It's designed so that they fit inside that little ridge. So I'm gonna have to hold this so you can see here. You'll end up doing this. You'll end up putting it in like that. Okay. Oh, there's the hot glue is trying to hold it. Um, you're gonna glue this edge here to that round to this edge here first. So that's what I'm gonna do first here. I'm gonna try to hold this so you guys can see it. Hopefully I hit this angle right. You can't really see too well. And where are we? And there we go. Hey, nice. All right, cool. First shot. And right, you can see the bottom here. I'm going to press this up and in so it fits in there. And once I'm up flush with that little edge right there, we'll put a little bit of glue on top of it just so it stays. So we've got it there. I can't hardly see what I'm doing here, but it's right where I want it. Um, actually, uh, Noisy Rush, I will not be doing a vacuum form um, for the visor. I'm going to be working with a Dremel. And I'm actually going to be hacking down a, um, a motorcycle visor that I've got. I'm going to be Hacking the visor down, I'll be painting it with a mirrored, uh, like a goldish mirror paint, and then I'll be doing an overlay of vinyl that's in a hex pattern so that it looks just like his space shield. Okay. And you see this here, how these, these are kind of stepped up? Bend it in like that so it makes contact with this ridge here. I'm going to do it real fast. And I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Stay there, stay there, bitch. Right on that little, that little step up that we did before. There we go, just like that. Okay. So it stepped in there. Don't quite put it on for this piece yet. Hit all those little step marks inside there. We'll do a little on the inside if you can even see down inside here. Man, cumbersome right now. Lugging this sucker around. I sounded like a robot? Oh, oh no. What have I done? Okay, same thing with this little piece. We're gonna do this piece now on this side here. So again, same thing we just did. Do the glue on the edge, do it on the edge of this here. And this, oh my goodness, this is Tough little bastard. And boom, there we go. I'll show you guys what it looks like here in just a second. I'm getting this glue to stop ballooning out on me. Give me half a second here. I'm going to show you where I've got it seated. And take the glue off it. Now. There we are, just like that. See how we got that little ridge there built in? Okay, so now that gives us the structural integrity for this piece here. And again, like I said, you'll have to come back through and hit all that with some hot glue. Just to straighten the whole thing up. Okay, coming down to the last couple little pieces. I have this little piece 
and I have these two little pieces here. We'll do this one first. Okay, with this little guy right here, he's gonna go on, he's going, he's going on this, so right here, he's gonna go on this edge here. So it's gonna fit like this here, and then that little piece there, we're gonna cut that off and fold it in on itself and re-glue it. So it kind of blocks this whole area right there, and it gives it a nice little strong point. But I have to do an edge trim all around. So I'm gonna cut this off first, and then I'm gonna edge trim all those little sides. Do this, cut that off. Edge right there, edge trim that, edge trim this one. I know that I want it to go back on let's see, this side here, so I'm gonna mark it real fast so I don't forget. Mark right there. Okay. Edge cut here. Like that. I believe that is all I'm gonna need to do. Let me check real fast. And nope, I need to do one more edge cut. Edge cut on the opposite side now. So four total cuts you'll take off of it. This here will reattach. I'm gonna do an edge cut on that there. So I'm gonna take this off. Okay, and now I'm gonna do this so it's straight up and down. See how it does that right there? It goes straight up and down now because I've taken off a 45 degree angle on both sides. So I'm gonna hit that real quick. Do there. Hey also, thank you so much you guys for hanging out for this whole build. I mean, I'm sure there's probably a ton of other things um, that you guys could be doing right now. So I really appreciate you guys being here. Um, yes, Enter Gaming, actually. Let me grab it real quick. This is actually the visor that I'm gonna be working with. I'll be doing this in a mirror. I'll be cutting out a section of this and showing you how to set it into your helmet. That little piece I just made here, we're going to attach it right on up to this thing here. I'm going to attach the edge there, I'm going to fold it down. And I'm going to attach it on this edge here and fold it down. So we'll do the first. Here, put that edge there. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tight. I've done a motorcycle visor that I've cut down for the last few, just because it's already got a dome shape to it, which I want. Let me see here. I'm gonna be pinching this in all around right now. So we'll go on this little edge here first. Let's see what I'm doing here. Oh, this is a weird angle. All right. I'm gonna pull it in. There we go. Tuck it. You see, how I'm tucking that right there. Right into that little corner. Let's move this out. Okay. As from inside here, I'm going to tuck it now, rest, and I'm going to make it make contact with this here. So I'm going to pull it all the way down, and I'm going to seat it right, like halfway on that little shape there. So give me a second. I'm going to go off screen for just a second here. I'm just going to hit it with glue, and I'll show you the outcome of it. Give me a minute. And there we go. And doing this here, it makes the entire upper part of this little piece here have a lot more strength. And it's actually a spot now where you can reach down and pull uh, pull your leg up from. If you're if it's starting to slide down, you can kind of get your hand around this now. So you see that little corner there? That's what we just made. Just folded that in and just glued it right to the top of this here. Now I've got this whole little strong piece there, right for the part of that leg there. Right. Only got two more pieces left. Holy crap. What are we at? Yes, I am. Holy cow, I built this one fast. I am under time. Last time I did one in three hours, this one only took me two and change. And we're getting better every day. All right. So now... Okay. This little key shape piece here, 
essentially is going to be going the same exact kind of concept for this one here, only on this side now. I have to cut a little piece that I'll fit in this little window here, but I've already edge trimmed it. And it's going to be going right there where that little step is. You can see how it kind of steps down a little bit. And I'll be doing this. Dude, Ender, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Hey, um, like I said, I'll be subscribing to all everybody who's watching this video right now. So I'll make sure and keep a, a watch out for that video as soon as it hits. That's going to be sick. I can't wait to, can't wait to see it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit these real quick. I might be off screen for a second, but I'm going to hit this edge and I'm going to walk it right on down that area. Oh, if you guys are trying to gauge how much glue you're going to use, I usually go through a bottle of that Loctite per every three pieces. So if that helps you out in figuring out how much you need to get, I usually just buy a bottle at a time or sometimes two bottles at a time if I know I'm going to be building for the whole weekend. So just figure it out as you go. Um, and again, just walking this whole thing down here. All these little pieces here. Yeah, actually, I'm going to take all you guys' names down after this, and I will I'll do a shout-out in my next video. I'll make sure and I'll make sure to mention all you guys, because you guys actually made this video a whole lot of fun. So thank you very much for being so supportive. You guys, honestly, you guys are the reason why I do this. It's, uh, I know we could all be doing a whole lot of other things right now, but like I said already, the fact that you guys are, are chilling with me here on a, on a Thursday night, it means a lot. Nothing is not entertaining, so I hope I am staying entertaining. Okay, keep walking that down, and we get to the end here. You're going to fold it down and press it right there, and it's going to fit right on top of that little piece there. So the whole thing, it's, it's crazy, this particular build. It is so seamless when it all comes together, um, and it's funny because you really don't get to see it fully get seamless until the very end, but that's the way it is with cylinder parts. <laughs> Gilbert, I appreciate it, man. I really do. I appreciate it. Nah. I really do. All right. And I'm going to roll this glue over the edge here, strengthen this up. All right. Perfect. Okay. So now, remember, I didn't glue that little corner piece down now. Now I'm going to, finally. Um, and I'm going to offset it by about an eighth of an inch lip there. So I'm going to stick, just stick it like that, and then I'm going to tuck this piece right behind it. Just give me a second. You won't see it for just a second, but when it comes back, it'll be done. And tuck this in. There we go. Hey, I don't know if any of you guys live in the Tennessee, or excuse me, the Nashville area, but if you are here... Um, in August, please come check out a Kai Kai. It is going to be sick, and I am really, really excited um, to be doing my first armor and prop building panel um, at this convention. It's going to be really sick, and I'm, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of giveaways. I can't wait. Okay, see how that there is? Always step down this whole thing there. Now we just got to put a little piece to fit right in that gap right here. So let me cut that real fast. Done in the gym. Okay. Let's see if that one fits. Yes, that will fit. Okay, cool. Let me trim it just, just slightly. And I'm take about a quarter of an inch off. And I guess these are little things here, like these quick cuts like this. These are little things that you'll you'll start getting more and more used to when you're building your pieces. Just doing quick little edits to it, quick little uh, modifications here and there, really helps the whole thing work out a lot better. Um, and you'll you'll learn how to do a lot of this as you just play with it. Okay, so this here is going to fit inside that little slot right there. If you can see what I'm doing here, fit that right there. So hey, there we go. Hey, well, you guys can actually see that. Attach it to the side wall first there. Make sure you're right flush with the edge, which I am. Good. I'm going to pull this down on top of it like that. Put some glue inside here. Pull 
this bad boy in there. Like that. And once it makes contact, the whole thing, we're going to tuck it down just a little bit. Not too much, just a touch. So we'll tuck it. Um, let's see here. You know what? We'll pull it over a little ways and push this piece into it. That'll probably be the easiest to do for here. Considering we modified it anyway, we'll go the path of least resistance there. So a little press over here, sweep it and stick. There we go. Boom, boom. Yes, I do have Xbox One. I do. Um, if you guys want to try and find me, I mainly play Halo Five. If you want to try and find me, I'm not going to give out my my gamer tag just yet. But um, if I see yours up here, I will look you out. But if you want to try and find me on Xbox One, um, I am in the Spartan Company. The Argonauts, like Jason and the Argonauts. So look up the Argonauts, and uh, we'll see if you can figure out which one of those members is me. Uh, all right. So that little piece is there, and um, again, you're gonna have to come back through here, and you're gonna have to put some hot glue and reinforce all this. Every single seam you want reinforced with hot glue, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. It's gonna take a little too long. All right. Last piece is this one here. It's got a weird little like. Uh, tongue shape right there. Okay, sweet. MLG Bacon 22. Nice. Alright, I will look it up. Absolutely, I will look you up. Uh, ouch, sorry, I blew on my hand. Okay. This final piece here goes on this side. Again, we've got a corner cut on the whole thing. So I've done my little edge cut already there. It's going to have this little tongue groove, which is going to fit um, See it a little better here. It's going to fit right inside there, and I'm going to wrap the entire piece up. So let me get it to where I can see it here for you guys. And do the corner here. Tuck the corner into this edge there first. It'll be the easiest, uh, the easiest start to this whole side here. Because you're going to have to. This one you'll really have to fight with. Just letting you know. And so you can see I'm getting the corner in there first. And then stay, stay there. Be good. All right. Pour in, and yes, all right, there we go. Now I'm gonna walk up to this corner here, do this whole piece there, and then I'm gonna bend it over. We are just about done with this. Let's pull this up. There we go, put it in there. Out of this corner here. Again, it's gonna be just real seamless with it. What do you think, babe? Looks good, huh? It's gonna go on my leg. It's gonna go on your leg. <laughs> Alright. Kyle! Which one do I get, Kyle? Alright. And bend up to this far edge there. Like I said, you gotta fight this one. The reason I saved it for the end, because it is a little bit awkward to do. Let me pull this real quick. I'll show you what it's looking like here in a second. There we go. I'm gonna be tucking this in there. Press in there, make sure it stays making contact. Oof, like this. Let's smooth that out. Last little bit of it. Uh, what I'm going to recommend doing here is this little nubbin area right there. You're going to cut that off because we don't need it. So, trim it out. I'm not actually quite sure why that little nub is there. I think that was there from the Papakura file, so it might be why they still left it on. Last little bit tucked right into here. So, just going to fold it on down. And that should be, yep, just like that. 